just drop it down inside, and the plastic just helps me to kind of move it and manipulate it. It'll also help me to take it off later. Um, and I usually just you know, take it with that, keep that piece from flapping. So I will start my trimming on this lid um, just like I would for a foot ring. Um, I kind of remember how wide the seat was um, for my lid. And so what I want to do is I want to trim to an area where um, or slightly beyond. Right. And then once I trim out the middle, all this clay on the inside, all this in here can get can get glazed if I want. It'd be like the underside of the foot ring, um, and then this will get waxed along with the insides of the of the pot. Do you use the same wax as you do to wax the bottom? That's a good question. I use um, there's two waxes in there. There's the regular wax, and then there's the wax that says wax with alumina. Uh, I always use the wax with alumina for any lids. Um, alumina is a very refractory material, and it just acts like, I mean, I, the best way I know to show it, it acts like ball bearings in there. It keeps the lid from sticking. Um, especially if you're working with a, a clay like B-Mix or if you're working with um, a porcelain, uh -huh. a clay that gets very vitrified, yeah. um, they can sometimes fuse together a little bit. So by having that alumina in there, it just helps to prevent that. So we'll also raise the, the rim where it sets, you're saying? Where the lid sets? Uh, I'll wax. wax. I'll wax it, yeah. yeah. Anywhere where the two pieces of clay come together, I'll put some wax. So both sides? So the, the, the pot? The and lid the and the pot, yeah. And I will almost always fire my lids and my pots together. Um, there are some exceptions to that. Different, you know, certain types of lids maybe will get, you know, get fired um, separately if they're not, you know, if they're not a real snug fit. And if you have additional glaze in there and you're not worried about it, um, you know, sometimes if you have a really snug fitting lid and you put glaze in there, it's going to create a, a different, you know, a smaller opening and then your lid won't fit. Or if it warps, or so I know I can go really deep in the center because I'm trimming right into the knob. So I can go fairly, you know, I can go fairly deep there. And then... So the other nice thing about trimming them together is that is that you can take the lid off and you can check the thickness and then if you you know want to go a little thinner you can put it back on. So I think what I'll do is I'll just round this edge much like I would a foot. Just kind of round that edge a little bit. So I'm just going to stop and kind of check the thickness. Yeah, I'll glaze all this on the inside, and then this will get waxed here. So, it's not bad. I mean, it's, I could probably take a little bit of more clay off of there. Thin it out just a little bit more.
I mean, and this is fairly thick here too. If I wanted to trim this down, it would just drop the lid down a little bit further inside. I mean, it's good the way it is. I mean, you can't see that edge, so, so I'm pretty comfortable with it like it is. just a little bit of water we'll stick that plastic down that I am. 